So question 15 says, find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line with the equation x plus 5y equals negative 7 and passes through the ordered pair negative 6, negative 1. Express the answer in standard form. So, again, the word perpendicular means to intersect and form right angles. So again, if I have a line going in this direction and a line going in this direction, notice how they intersect and form right angles. So one of the things you may notice here is one line is going to have a negative slope and one line is going to have a positive slope. So, so what we're talking about perpendicular means intersect to form right angles. This means one line has to have a positive slope while the other is negative. So notice how one's going up. That's a positive slope, one's going down, that's a negative slope. So to form a right angle, when we talk about the slopes, to form a right angle, the slope of one line has to be the reciprocal of the other. So if we talk about the relationship of the slopes, if I know the slope of one of the lines, the slope of the other line has to be the reciprocal, but also it's got to be negative. So we also know it's got to have a, a negative part of it too. So there's two things we have to take into account. So if we know that one slope of one line, we have, we have to take we actually have to take its opposite and flip it to form the slope of the second line. So as I beat around the bush here, here's kind of what we need to pick up on. So if we know the slope of one line, take its opposite and flip it to form the slope of the second line. If, if I do that, that will create a perpendicular slope, if you will. Now, if the lines, if one is horizontal and one is vertical, notice how one slope is zero, which is the horizontal line, and the other slope is undefined, which is vertical. So that's a little bit different story, but... So if we're dealing with horizontal and vertical lines, there's not going to be nearly as much work involved. But in our problem, let's see what we got. So the equation we're, we get, we're given is this x plus 5y equals negative 7. And what we know right now is our line passes through negative 6, negative 1. But we still need to know the slope of our line. So we're going to use this equation over here to find the slope of this line. So if I solve for y, so notice how I can move this x over to the other side by just flipping it to the other side makes it negative. If I divide both sides by five, so that means this turns into y, and this turns into negative x over a five minus a seven over a five. So that's gonna be a negative one fifth x minus a seven fifths. The only thing I, I care about for this equation is its slope. So the slope of this line is negative one fifth, which means the slope of my line has to be the reciprocal of that. So if I flip it, that's five over one, but you also have to change the sign, which means it's gonna become a positive five. So the slope of my line's gotta be a positive five if I flip and take the opposite of it. So the, this is gonna be the opposite reciprocal, if you will. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. So the opposite of a negative is a positive, and if I flip it, I'm going to get a 5. So what I want to do now is I want to use this information to create the equation of the line that I'm looking for. So we, you can use the point slope form. y minus a negative 1 equals 5 times x minus a negative 6. So y plus 1 equals 5 times x plus 6. So we have y plus 1, 5x plus 30. So y equals 5x plus 29. Can you see where I got that 29? Now notice how I need the x and y on the same side of the equation. So I'm going to move the 5x over. So now when I moved it over, it's going to actually just turn sign. So there's a lot of patterns you can start to use instead of showing every little step.
but also how this negative 5x has to be positive. So if I change it to a positive 5x, this has got to turn into a negative y. That's got to turn into a negative 29. So that would be the solution to my problem. So 5x minus y equals negative 29 would be the standard form of the equation. 